Chainlink basically powers the majority of DeFi. And when you think about DeFi, it's really a collection of financial conditions and the data that triggers those conditions. This is the same thing that happened when finance went digital, where all the financial products that we use today in the Web2 and the traditional finance world are basically contractual conditions connected to data. So one way that people use Chainlink very widely is for connectivity to important financial data that allows DeFi to emerge. Other ways are cross-chain connectivity, creating the internet of contracts and allowing different blockchains to speak to each other, creating a single global internet of contracts. This is what big banks and large financial market infrastructures are interested in. And then there's also the ability for computation to be done in the Oracle networks, which allows more and more advanced uh, smart contracts. So Chainlink is basically a computing platform that allows more advanced smart contracts on various chains and connects all the different chains into a single internet of contracts where all the different banks, DeFi protocols, public chains, private chains can all interact with each other and use each other's contracts and move value and data and information across each other.